What's up, y'all? Y'all know who it is. Y'all know what it is. Your boy JP. Today, I'm just going to come to you with a quick little pro tip on how to make sure that your Bluetooth is actually working properly. Sometimes it's not just in the connection, but how stuff is actually wired, and we're going to be talking about that today. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, please consider subscribing because these are the type of things we do here. Car audio tutorials, radio removals, Q&As, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. So we are installing this Pioneer radio, and the first thing you guys want to make sure that your Bluetooth wire, if you have an external one, one is in the right connection on the back you will notice that these things are etched in or engraved in this one says mic stands for mic short for microphone that's where this is going to be plugged into you will see that when you go down on it it actually makes small little clicks it is not big as the 3.5 millimeter jack so make sure you plug it in the right spot some radios don't have it actually uh connected to the radio they have a wire that comes off and you it still says mic on that connector and then you should plug it in there now some radios also have a built-in microphone but so you don't have to worry about any type of connections because it's not external but the basis around this is just to make sure that that mic is in the right spot and has a good connection but let's just say that they can hear you but you actually can't hear them so how this is supposed to work is that external microphone gets plugged into the radio that way you can talk to people so they can hear you but it's also supposed to come out of the uh, front speakers so if you can hear them then you might need to actually check your wiring I see this often in Jeep Chrysler and Dodge vehicles that have the premium sound system and I'm gonna show you exactly what I am talking about the thing about this premium sound system is that if you look on this side of the pins where you see these four speaker wires you come over here and you see those two grays and those two greens those are the speaker wires perfect right but when you come over here and see the two grays and the two whites when you look on that pin side there is no wires right here why is this because there is a factory amplifier inside this vehicle that takes this rear signal and sends that to the amp but then the amp provides power to all the speakers inside the car so guess what speakers the bluetooth audio comes out of the front speaker when that bluetooth audio comes out it's going to go through these two channels which are the front channels but they have nothing to go to because guess what there are no front channels on these premium sound system in your jeep chrysler or dodge so i'm going to show you how to wire this up so you can get your bluetooth audio to come through all right so since we know that our bluetooth audio is going to come out of the front channels but we only have rear channels guess what we want to hook up our fronts to our rears so you want to hook up the two whites and the two grays to the two greens and the two purples going into the Jeep. So as you can see, since like I said, we don't have the front channel, so I just looped them, taped them up here. We're not using the rear channels from the fact from the aftermarket radio, so I did the same thing on this side. And we have our two whites, the solid positive and the one with the black stripe negative goes to the two greens right here. And then we have our two grays and it goes to the two purples. The reason I did that is because the driver side will go to the driver side, which means the whites on the left, the greens are on the left, and the same for the passenger, the gray, the grays are on the right, and the rears are the purples, and they will still go on the right. And that's just about as simple as it gets. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning up this wire harness, probably put some test tape on it, a couple zip ties so it looks all nice and neat. I hope you guys found some type of value in this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment if you want to. There's no, pay, there's no product links in the description, but there is Patreon links in the description for those who want to be furthermore supporters of your boy. Until next time, this is your boy JP signing out, man. Y'all be blessed.